Good evening to you all and thank you for joining, joining us here in St Michael's. A special word of welcome to Year 12 pupils from other schools considering joining us in the sixth form. For a second year now we are bringing this open night to you virtually. I want to thank the team from last year for putting together this evening's presentation. I will speak to you again at the end of the presentation. And I'm Cal O'Connor, the Vice Principal of the College. Normally we welcome you in person to see around our college, but that is not possible at present. Instead, tonight we welcome you to our virtual open night, where we hope to give you a sense of what St Michael's is all about and what you can expect if you join us here in the sixth form. Whether it's the sciences, technology, mathematics you're interested in, or indeed the humanities, geography, history, religion and English, or our BTEC offering, construction, business, sport and ICT. St Michael's has a subject offering and pathway for all those who come to our college. I know that as well as the academic, you'll be interested to know what else the school has to offer. Well I think it's safe to say that St Michael's is one of the top sporting colleges in all of Ireland. We were crowned all Ireland champions in Gaelic football in April 2019. Hogan Cup winners, and in the same year we won medals in the All-Ireland Cross-Country Championships. We provide a range of activities beyond Gaelic football and cross-country, and have excelled in those as well. We provide opportunities in music and in drama, and we provide extracurricular experiences in developing skills in ICT and design and technology. I hope you get a sense of all of these activities and opportunities as we take you through our virtual open night tonight. We're going to hand you over now to our head boy and deputy head boy, who will guide you through the college tonight. We will speak to you again a little later on. All Year 12s, you're very welcome here to St Michael's College. My name is Connor Murphy and I am the head boy. And I am Oliver Hughes Jordan, the deputy head boy. Welcome to our virtual open night. St Michael's has a very vibrant and exciting offering to all Year 13 pupils who choose to study here. We offer many ed level choices, including subjects in humanities, sciences and much more. I am here at the brand new state-of-the-art sports pavilion at St Michael's College. This development is not officially open yet, but we are going to have a look at some of the facilities that will help students to excel at sports and the academic study of physical education. We also have one of the most expansive extracurricular offerings in the country, to the GAA Cross Country Music and Drama. So I hand you over now give you a flavour of what St Michael's has to offer. I'm here at our Manor Technology and Design Department. This suite has two planning rooms, two workshops and a systems room. I'm joined now by Miss Lucy Donnelly, the Head of the Technology and Design Department, to talk you through what is available as a Year 13 Technology and Design student. At Key Stage 5, we offer A-Level Technology and Design with a focus on product design. As you can see from the display of work from across all year groups, the Management Technology and Design Department at St Michael's is creating confident and successful students, inspiring them to use their creative and innovative skills to produce high quality solutions to solve real life problems and essentially equipping our students with necessary life skills. Thank you very much to Ms Donnelly for providing that wonderful insight into what St Michael's can offer those interested in technology and design. I now hand over to Connor in our science department. Welcome to our science department. I am here outside one of the seven labs across the college. Mr McGovern is our head of science and he will be giving you a brief overview of the offering in sixth form. Mr McGovern, what do we offer those who have completed their GCSEs? After completing your GCSEs, many will choose to continue their studies of sciences. This may be because they have a great interest in the science or because they have a particular career aspiration. 
In St. Michael's we cater well for boys who want to study science post-16. There are four options available. AS Biology, AS Chemistry, AS Physics and AS Life and Health Sciences. Thank you for that insight, Mr. McGovern. In addition to offering A levels in the sciences and technology, St. Michael's offers a wide range of subjects in the humanities. We will now hear from one student who studies the humanities. My name is Kieran Burns. I am a sixth form pupil in St. Michael's College. I decided to join St. Michael's to pursue my A level studies. For those of you who are considering St. Michael's, I am here to give you some insight into what it is like to join the sixth form. My time in the college is spent divided over four areas. Time with my form teacher, time in the study hall, time being taught my subjects, and finally, common room and gym time. I chose three humanities subjects to study at the college. We're off to one now, religious studies. In religious studies, we get the opportunity to study both scripture and church history. Religious studies allows us to look at aspects of human experience and relate it to the world around us. My skills of argument and essay writing have really developed during my time in RE. That's RE finished now. I'm heading off to another one of my subjects, history. History is one of my favorite subjects. The opportunity to learn from the past and apply it to the present is something I find really fascinating. In history, we study the Tudors, Russia, witchcraft, and Irish history. We get to specify on a specific time period in Irish history. I have chosen the Ulster Crisis. This is the year 14 common room. This is where we come to have a chat and relax at break and lunch time, if we're not outside. During our study periods, we have access to both private study areas and great ICT facilities. I just wanted to say that I can't recommend St Michael's highly enough for the way they made me feel welcome when joining the school. I'm going to hand you back over now to Connor, who's outside the geography department. All the best! Thanks Kieran for that insight into what life is like for any pupil joining sixth form in St Michael's College. I am here now with Mr Stewart, who is a senior teacher in the college and geography teacher. What is it that makes students choose geography in such large numbers here in St Michael's? Geography at St Michael's College is very popular both at TCSE and A level. In the famous words of Michael Palin, geography holds the key to the future. In A level geography, we study climate change, natural hazards, migration, and environmental degradation. There could be no better time than to study geography at A level. What topics are covered in geography? And is there a practical element to the subject? In year 13, in AS Geography, we look at elements of both physical and human geography. In physical geography, we look at the fluvial environment. We also look at ecosystems and atmosphere. In human geography, we look at population, settlement and migration. We also have a fieldwork unit, AS3, and this involves a residential overnight stay in the Gilligan Field Centre, where we undertake a field study of the Curly Burn River. It proves very popular every year with our year 13 students. A-level geography has proved a very popular choice with St Michael's boys continuing their A-level studies. But it has also proved a very popular choice for new students into post-16. I would really look forward to seeing some of you boys join my class next year. Thank you very much Mr Stewart from our geography department. I would like to pass you over to Oliver who is going to talk to you about our BTEC offering. I want to talk to you about the first of the BTECs that we have on offer here at St Michael's College, BTEC Sport. But before I do so, let me hand you over to our two distinguished sportsmen who are at our new sports pavilion. 
I'm Miles Milan and I'm here with Oshin Cassidy and you're very welcome to our new state-of-the-art sports pavilion located just behind the main St Michael's College campus. The £1.2 million development marks the beginning of a new era in terms of the provision of sports facilities for not only the St Michael's students who enter each year but also the widespread community across Fermanagh. Earlier today we went down to the new pavilion and met with some of the students and the PE teachers to see what they thought. We have fantastic new facilities here which gives our students a wonderful opportunity uh, to get engaged in physical activity in a very enjoyable manner because we've had almost two weeks of solid rain up to now but look at the conditions of this pitch, absolutely magnificent and that's the beauty of the 4G. We're able to enjoy sport in whatever weather conditions we have and it's a massive, massive advantage for every student at St Michael's College presently and for those that's coming in the future as well. And of course, being the GA manager of the Macquarie Cup team, which saw all Ireland's success in recent years, these facilities will be able to use to develop the talents of students in the future. It's absolutely fantastic for the Gaelic footballers, but here in St Michael's we pride ourselves on a broad range of extracurricular sports. For example, we are All-Ireland champions in cross country, we're up there at the top stream in athletics as well, soccer, hurling. So this facility here is for everybody, it's not just for the elite in Gaelic football and athletics cross country, it's for every student in the school and they will get huge benefit from it. I'm now going to hand you over to Oshin, who's now in the pavilion. We are now joined by now one of our PE teachers, Mr. Francis Shaw. Uh, we're very fortunate here that we have a very wide range of facilities to make Mr. Coyle has already alluded to our outdoor facilities and now in addition to our art sports hall and multiple purpose gymnasium and assembly hall and uh, four to five indoor change rooms in the equipment because of the old build, we now have these new two additional change rooms adjacent to the school for use both by curricular PE, extracurricular and indeed for other teams outside of school hours. And of course, Mr Shaw, you're responsible for the success of the cross-country teams. As I said, actually, we've been very fortunate here to make us to have a great uh, variety of talent athletes both across country and track and field over the last 15 to 20 years. A uh, very great success uh, uh, over the, that period of time. We've won no fewer than 17 Oscar schools cross-country titles uh, and four American titles, which has been and uh, it has been a fantastic success and indeed several other sets of Oscar and Ireland medals. It's a fantastic facility and it complements the subject offering of physical education, namely BTEC Sport. Mr Corrigan, what do the pupils learn in BTEC Sport? The BTEC course is a very exciting new curriculum offer at St Michael's College and it enables our students to learn in both a practical and theoretical manner. The course is designed for students who have got a real passion for sport. It gives them that real life experience of the many aspects of the sports industry. Sports performance, the different sports careers that you can choose and the importance of course of general health and fitness. It is a unique type of learning that requires all students to become more independent in their studies, providing excellent progression on on to further education and from there on into the workplace. This has been our first year of the BTEC and the feedback that we have got back from our students has been extremely positive. They have learned a lot already and even more important than that, they have enjoyed that learning experience and we can see that continue now over the next number of years. So we look forward over the next number of years to see our students joining our BTEC sport course and really enjoying it and getting huge benefit from it. Thank you Mr Corrigan. Of course, sport is only one of the many BTECs offered here in St Michael's. I'll now hand you over to Connor, who is with Mr Hughes, a senior teacher in the college and construction teacher. I am here with Mr Hughes, who is going to give us an outline of BTEC construction, and I believe that it is a double award BTEC. At Post 16, we offer a Level 3 National Diploma in Construction. It is the equivalent in size to two A-levels, so you will only need to study one other subject alongside it. We have been delivering construction here in St Michael's for over 20 years now, and it is an integral part of our curriculum. What do you actually study in BTEC construction? We cover a wide range of topics such as health and safety, renewable energy and sustainable construction, surveying, including building surveying, quantity surveying and land surveying, civil engineering, 
architecture, building control and construction management, to name but a few. The excellent levels of success that our students achieve, both in the written assignments and examinations, encourage the majority of them to continue their study of similar courses at university. If you think that you would enjoy studying construction, and if you would like to gain some of the practical and theoretical tools of this global industry, then why not consider this subject for post-16? Thank you, Mr Hughes. We are now going over to our ICT room, where Oliver is meeting with Mr Maguire and Mr Donnelly. I'm here with Mr Jerry Donnelly, Head of Business Studies, and Mr John Maguire, Head of ICT. And if I can start with you, Mr Donnelly. The pupils who have studied both Business A-Level and BTEC Business down through the years have done very well in their subsequent studies and in securing employment. What is it about these courses that offer students such opportunities? Most boys are going to leave St Michael's and they're either going to work for someone's business or they're going to run their own. So within our Business Studies courses we study a vast range of topics from setting up the business to financing it and then ultimately to running their own business if they choose, while also looking at the economy both locally and worldwide in which these businesses would be operating in. What is the mix between portfolio and exam in BTEC business? And how does it compare with the A-level business? Our A-level subject, which is offered by SIA, consists of four units. The boys will study two units at AS and two units at A2. The boys will do an exam at the end of each unit, so they will have two exams in the summer of year 13 and another two exams in the summer of year 14. Our BTEC course, which is offered by Edexcel, again is four units and is the extended certificate course, which is the equivalent of one A level. Within the course, there will be two portfolio units. There will then be an internally set task, which is then moderated by Edexcel, which the boys will sit in school. And then in year 14, the finance exam will take place and that unit is an exam based unit which will be set in January of year 14. So overall with the BTEC, we have two portfolio units with two exam units, which is the big comparison then I suppose you would say between the BTEC and the LF. Turning to you Mr Maguire, the ICT department offers two qualifications in sixth form. Can you tell us about them? Traditionally in St Michael's, we have offered digital technology as an A-level in the school, which is four units crossing two years. Two units in sixth year and two units in seventh year. Three of the units are exam-based and the one unit in seventh year is a database, which is project-based. We also, in recent years, have introduced a new course, which is BTEC ICT. BTEC ICT also covers four units, but it's e-portfolio-based for the most part. There is one exam in seventh year, but the rest is e-portfolio based. I would like to think that at St Michael's we offer something in ICT that caters for every student. What careers and opportunities do these two courses lead to? There are a number of pathways you can take after studying ICT in St Michael's. In the past we've had a number of boys who have went down the apprenticeship route, which has become increasingly popular in recent years. We also have a lot of boys who go straight into computer science in the likes of Queen's, McGee or Jordanstown. We've had also boys who have went down a separate pathway from the academic route and went straight into industry. The skills that developed at A level here have equipped them well for that route. The two courses that we offer here at St Michael's are a great foundation for any student's future in ICT. Thank you Mr Donnelly and Mr Maguire for this information about these two important curricular areas. I am here with two of our pastoral leaders, Miss Anradi, Head of Learning Support, and Senior Teacher, Miss O'Neill, Head of Pastoral Care. I'll start with you, Miss O'Neill. What is pastoral care? Well, Connor, pastoral care is the provision that the school makes to ensure both the physical and emotional welfare of the boys. It allows us to provide both a warm, a sensitive, a thorough, a very realistic learning environment here in St Michael's. And that involves guidance, advice and allowing boys to grow and be the very best that they can be. At the very centre of everything we do here are the boys. And our aim is to support their development and provide an all-round or what we call holistic approach to not only address their academic needs, but also their social, their emotional and their spiritual needs. 
is part of everyday life here in school and we have a taught pastoral care programme. But every single member of our staff has a role to play in assisting the boys feel safe, secure, nurtured, responsible and included. And we also encourage the boys to get involved in the life of St Michael's. Mrs Hanradi, what is your role in St Michael's? I am the Learning Support Coordinator in the College. In St Michael's College we recognise that all pupils need support of their learning and it is my responsibility with the Learning Support team and other staff to put that support in place. Thank you to Ms O'Neill and Ms Hanradi. If you are a pupil looking to transfer to St Michael's College, you can be assured that you will receive both learning support and pastoral care here in the college. I just want to show you our college oratory, where we congregate for school masses and other liturgies. It really is at the heart of the school. Guide us on the journey. and got a real sense of what St Michael's is all about. As Year 13 pupils, we want to reassure you that you'll be well looked after and catered for. Be assured that St Michael's is a great place to learn, explore your talents and broaden your horizons. As we come to the end of our time in St Michael's, we wish all those preparing for the transition to sixth form the very best. I hope you all enjoyed our virtual open night and it has given you a sense of how we take care of our sick farmers here in St Michael's. Full details of all the courses we have on offer are available on our website, stmichaels.org.uk, together with an expression of interest form that we invite you to send back to us. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We're always here to help. Thank you all for tuning in this evening. I really hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of our school. I look forward to meeting with you all in September.